Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here, and welcome to Michael Mass Eats, where I am currently eating my way around Orlando. Here on Michael Mass Eats, I like to help you find the new restaurants, the old restaurants, the good restaurants, and maybe even the bad restaurants to avoid when you're looking for places to eat. Currently, like I said, in Orlando, I'm over here on the corner of Summerlin and Central in Thornton Park, and right here, we are going into SoCo today. So let's go. We have been seated outside on the patio here at SoCo. Let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. And I want to mention that we are actually here for Magical Dining. And that's the, like, the last day is actually today. But I wanted to go ahead and highlight one more Magical Dining experience. And this seemed like the best one to do. Let's go ahead and look at the menu here at SoCo Southern Contemporary Dining. Like I said, a little bit of Southern with a twist. And the first thing that catches my eye on these appetizers over here is the SoCo chicken and dumplings. Chicken breast, lobster dumplings, local mushrooms, edamame, soy butter. So the, the waitress kind of said that this is an Asian style of chicken and dumplings. Uh, I'm not sure really what I'm going to get off this side. Is there anything anything there that just like sticks out to you? What would you order if you were ordering off of this right here? I, I have a feeling, I don't know. I, re I really, really don't know what I'm going to order. And now we look at the main part of the menu over here. Still, like I said, southern with a twist all the way down. As you can see, actually, look at this. Specials, like every day of the week. But let's go ahead and look at the main part of the menu. Uh, several things there catching my eye. Look at this, this vegan dish. Mixed vegetables, bean seeds, collard greens, pesto, vegan. If you're a vegan, like, that that could jump out at you, definitely. But probably wouldn't jump out at you because it doesn't move. But uh, another thing that's caught my eye while looking at the menu is this grilled meatloaf, lobster, mashed potatoes. I, I, I think I might have a hard time deciding what I'm going to get here at SoCo. Oops, almost forgot the sides here and, well, the salads. There's three salads on the menu. And then you look over here and you get that cornmeal fried okra. You get the macaroni. You also get the bi buttermilk biscuits, the fried green tomatoes. We are actually here for Magical Dining and this is saving me just a little bit of money this month on, uh, on food reviews. As uh, Magical Dining is all of September in Orlando. So if you're ever in Orlando in September, know that you can get Magical Dining. So we're probably gonna look at getting that uh, barbecue glazed pork belly biscuit, probably the meatloaf here, and then uh, I'm guessing the key lime or the bread pudding, I'm not sure. One of those two, obviously. Tell me, what would you get? off of the magical dining menu this is the barbecue pork belly biscuits it's a chow chow on top with pork belly and those little biscuits kind of like a biscuit slider there but also look what the chef sent out right there that right there is their house specialty when it comes to appetizers that's a so-called style chicken and dumplings it's got chicken breasts on top but it's got lobster dumplings on the bottom it also has the local mushrooms the edamame and the soy butter sauce yum the meatloaf let's start from the bottom that is mashed potatoes that are lobster mashed potatoes so a little something different there go up to the right there go up to the meatloaf that is going to be pork beef and veal covered with a vidalia onion gravy onion rings and some asparagus this i don't even know where to start this looks this looks delicious and if it's anything like the appetizers my stomach's going to be very happy Last but not least, out comes the blueberry pudding, and uh, it's, it melted just a little bit. Had to take a few photos there, but it's about time to dig in and, and see how this goes, because I love me some bread pudding. I love me some blueberries. This should be good. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we just finished up that mill here at SoCo. And what do I think? What? I'm going to say wow. It definitely falls on the recommended list. Uh, probably somewhere between a recommended and a must. So SoCo right there is a, between a recommended and a must. A must would have been like five stars. Recommended would be four. So it's going to be falling right in between there. And here's why everything kind of worked out the way it did. First off, the two appetizers that I tried out of this world. Five stars on those. Five stars definitely uh, the pork belly uh, pork belly biscuits. Barbecue pork belly biscuits. I definitely recommend those. They were definitely an all-star to this meal. And then that chicken and dumplings, which would just, just a little bit of a twist with that lobster inside there. Everything, everything about that was delectable, was yes, yum, 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 yum. Now we're gonna get to the point where I marked it down just a little bit. It was the next dish and here's why. Um, actually, the dish was good. The dish was good, but it was a little bit, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it was supposed to be prepared, prepared this way or not, but it was a little bit charred, a little bit more charred than I would prefer the meatloaf. It's a little crispy. It just seemed like it might have been burnt just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't think that's probably going to be the norm though. I, I, I would hope that that's not the norm, but I will say that it was, like I said, just a little crispy, a little burnt. Um, it was different than meatloaf than I've had before. I did it. I did enjoy it on the overall. The lobster mashed potatoes underneath it, those were really good. Um, the the gravy that was on top, also really good. Onion rings were crisp. The asparagus was good. Everything was prepared really good. Like I said, it's just a little bit crispy. A little. Just, there was something to it that I thought was maybe just a little burnt when it came to the meatloaf. But the meatloaf outside of that was also good. So that's where I go from a five star to a 4.5 and put it just in between that recommended and must list. Now, last but not least, wow, and definitely not least, was that bread pudding, blueberry bread pudding. I love bread pudding, I love blueberries. Like what was there not to like there? It was amazing and I definitely recommend getting that. So if you're gonna get over here to SoCo, I recommend, I recommend everything I ate but be careful when it comes to, to that meatloaf because like I said, it was just a little bit more crisp than I would have preferred. Maybe a little bit more char than I would have preferred. But seriously, so it goes legit, 4.5, right between that recommended, right between that must. Somewhere right in there. Definitely, definitely if you are in Thornton Park, if you're in Orlando, you're gonna wanna get over here and give SoCo a try. Guys, I'm out of here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down there. And if this is your first time here and you're looking for all those good eats everywhere, make sure to subscribe because I'll keep making food videos if you keep watching them. I'm gonna get out of here. And until next time, thank you for your time. Here's to life.